you've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Is that relevant, Bagling? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify Malik you've arrived. I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day, and I don't think I can beat her. Then don't. Just give me a name. It's not a request. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Thanks. Hope you said goodbye. Wait. Wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. We'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of size fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. Agreed. We need all the facts. We don't move until we investigate Emma Child further. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Bagley, filter those SIRS dossiers for agents who work directly for Child. We'll hack into their comms, and they'll lead us right to her. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So if we were to break in and leave a message that we know we'll get back to her. That's a sound plan. Let's get to it. Our experts speak on conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Here's disinformation and media expert Charles, who sees free broadcasters built up by journalists and torn down by demagogues all over the world. So before the media fragment, there was this voice of authority that was trusted and, and, and worthy of trust. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where whether you're talking about an app on a smart device or whether you're talking about a broadcaster, the most important thing was to keep you in that environment for the longest amount of time possible uh, and because that meant money in their pocket. And in order to do that, a couple of things happened. One was the use of manipulative techniques around behavioral economics, things that would just keep you scrolling or keep you listening or keep you looking for more information. The second is that that kind of environment favors sensationalism. And so you've got more sensational headlines and more sensational... That is the old MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. I don't want to end up at the bottom of the bloody Thames. Bagley, don't scare her. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this. Someone should do something!
quick mission update. But you have to promise not to be mad. I won't. Tell me. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details, but suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. Glad we're on the same side. Well done. But you better get out of there. We'll ring you when we have something. Plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Chard's organization than a nest of randy wasps. Well, that was awfully fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Chard's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation, just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Define safe. Fair enough. So what do we do now? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. Fairly obvious what to do then. So how did we get here? Where did it all go wrong? How can we tell when our national media has become state propaganda? Our experts speak on conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Here's disinformation and media expert Charles who seen free broadcasters built up by journalists and torn down by demagogues all over the world. So before the media fragmented, there was this voice of authority that was trusted and, you, and, and worthy of trust. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where whether you're talking about an app on a smart device or whether you're talking about a broadcaster, the most important thing was to keep you in that environment for the longest amount of time possible, uh, and because that meant money in their pocket. And in order to do that... Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting. The second is that that kind of environment this is what we call 
You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer. Your source for what they do. It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mr. Stroud. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like all shit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the dead sec fire. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. Call Malik. He's not answering. Jesus Christ, fine. I'm moving in. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance.
Emma Chart has opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. Plugging you into Emma Child's com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalk that up to your problem, child. That, uh, well, Malik, was it? Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. There's new evidence that suggests Malik may be working with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. It, shit, sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Ooh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where whether you're talking about an app on a smart device or whether you're talking about a broadcaster, the most important thing was to keep you in that environment for the longest amount of time possible uh, and because that meant money in their pocket. And in order to do that, a couple of things happened. One was the use of manipulative techniques around behavioral economics, things that would just keep you scrolling or keep you listening or keep you looking for more information. The second is that that kind of environment favors sensationalism. And so you got more sensational headlines and more sensational... And just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want to know. This time we're turning our focus back on the news. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Didn't you hear her? She said she wants you dead. You wanted proof. There it is. I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye. So how did we get here? Where did it all go wrong? How can we tell when our national media has become state propaganda? Our experts speak on conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Incredible. Fuck him. We know who's behind Zero Day now. We don't need him. We just have to find her. As it happens, when I was getting intimate with the MI6 server, I came across a list of SIRS safe houses scattered throughout the city. There are quite a few, though. Grand. Cross-reference the GPS data from child supporters against that list, and we'll get a match. Brilliant. Prioritize them by likelihood bags. Let's get this bitch. 